Good morning, Pinecliffs. I am your host, Galen Good, and welcome to the Pinecliffs Observer. Watching them to keep you safe. Huh. That, that wasn't the right intro music. Sorry, listeners. I've been having Elza, the station intern, help me organize things here at the station. Apparently, the usual intro music has been switched out with some other bit of music somehow. Weird. Before we get into the news, I have a brief announcement to make. Listeners, do you all remember Thomas? Well, Thomas, this station's previous manager, went missing on the 4th of July. Well, after viewing footage caught by this station's security cameras, the Sheriff's Office, led by Sheriff Isaac Maller, has declared Thomas dead. They aren't telling anyone how they can be sure. Isaac just said, You don't want to know, man. Trust me. As he walked off with the tapes from that night. In any case, we here at the station will be holding a funerary service for Thomas sometime next month. Anyways, listeners, you might have noticed something different in how I started the broadcast. That's right. I said good morning, not good evening. It is, in fact, very early in the morning, maybe around 4.30 a.m. I had to brew a fresh batch of coffee, listeners, and I know you all are wondering the same thing I was. What am I doing on the radio so early in the morning? Well, Pine Cliffs, the owner of our station, Amelia Maller, wants me to cover the opening of a new restaurant. It's called Nighthawk's Diner, and it should open in about half an hour. Well, listeners, I couldn't say no to our station manager, so I got the portable broadcast equipment, woke Elza up, dropped her off at the station, and went down to Nighthawks. Before I get further into this news, listeners, I have a... I have another brief announcement to make. It would seem, listeners, that Amelia Maller, the owner and manager of the local ice hockey team, the Pinecliffs Lumberjacks, has managed to schedule a game for them. They will be playing the Redwood Terrors next month. Elza, if you're listening to the broadcast, can you find out just where that game is being held? Thanks. Now, for those listeners out there that want to try out our newest eatery, just follow Butcher's Lane until you see the sign that says Nighthawk's Diner. You can't miss this place, Pine Cliffs. It's beautiful. It has a huge wraparound window outlining most of the diner's lobby and a beautiful cherry wood counter. It follows the same path as the window. On one side of the counter, the side we would be eating at, listeners, I can see old bar stools. Listeners, it looks amazing, incredibly picturesque. Well then, uh, listeners, I just got a text from Elza. According to her, the Nighthawks Diner is owned by one Edmund Big Ed Hopper. He apparently owned another diner, Big Ed's Diner, about a decade ago. Apparently, Big Ed's Diner closed when Big Ed himself was arrested. Elza apologizes again for not being able to fix the notifications on my phone. She thanks me for making coffee. Alright then. No problem, Elza. Sorry for waking you up, but, well... I didn't exactly do any research for this morning's report, and, well, thanks for agreeing to do it for me. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. Listeners, I am seeing some movement inside of Nighthawk's diner. It's a large man in a clean white apron. He's bald and seems to be wearing a classic soda jerk hat. This must be Big Ed himself. He is turning on the lights and heading back into what must be the kitchen. It's not five yet, listeners, and he hasn't turned the sign on the door to open yet. I I guess I'll wait. I, I was kind of hoping he'd open early. Then I could cover the opening of the steiner, go home. Maybe get some sleep. Oh well. I, I, I can wait a few minutes. That's what I made this coffee for. While I wait for Nighthawk's Diner to open, here's this week's weather forecast. Sunday will be a partly cloudy day, 
with temperatures expected to hit the mid 80s. There will be a strong wind coming out of the north at 25 miles per hour. Monday will be a cold, bitter day, as it always is. Temperatures are expected to reach roughly 25 degrees below zero. Make sure you wear plenty of layers and try to keep your pipes from bursting pine cliffs. Tuesday through Friday will be. Just will be. Saturday will be mostly cloudy, with temperatures expected to reach the mid to high 70s, with a wind coming out of the north at 15 miles per hour. This has been this week's weather forecast. Well, listeners, this is a fairly uneventful broadcast so far. Big Ed came and turned on the lights, and that's about it. Well, maybe this has something interesting. Listeners, I just got a text from, you guessed it, Elza. She was looking through some of the old station records, listeners, and apparently I, at one point, did a broadcast about Big Ed. She's texted me a picture of the transcript. Says I really should read the part she circled before going into his new diner. Alright, uh, circle starts at... Okay. Here we go. Ah, so that's what he was arrested for. It would, it would appear that Big Ed was charged with numerous crimes, but all they could really pin on him was obstruction of justice. Prosecution claimed that unknown parties paid Big Ed to dispose of bodies. They never could find any of them. And testing of the meat on hand at Big Ed's diner showed that it was just pork. It would seem that obstruction of justice was all they could hang on him. <laughs> wow. Ten years for obstruction of justice. Seems a bit extreme, but hey, I'm not the sheriff. Listeners, during the last few seconds of our show, Big Ed came out of the kitchen and turned the sign on the door to open. I'm going to grab a bite to eat and tell you about it. In the meantime, here's a word from today's sponsor. Have you made mistakes, listeners? Horrible mistakes. Mistakes that threw your whole life off track, out of whack. Well, listeners, now you can drop those little mistakes off at Little Miracles Daycare. Little Miracles Daycare. We're here so you can day drink in peace. Well, listeners, Big Ed had a fresh plate of food waiting for me as I walked into the diner. Apparently, Amelia Maller had called him ahead of time, and the reason he didn't open a little early was because he was busy preparing this one special meal. Before I could ask him any more questions, he was swarmed by hungry customers, willing and ready to eat. It wasn't what you'd call a complex plate of food, listeners. Scrambled eggs, biscuits and gravy, and of course, sausage. And listeners, let me tell you, that was the best plate of food I think I've ever eaten. The biscuits and gravy were superb, the scrambled eggs delicious, and the sausage, listeners, was amazing. I don't know what kind of spices he puts in it, but that sausage, Pine Cliffs, is simply to die for. What, what was that? Sorry, listeners. It looks like I got a text from Elza while I was inside the diner. She texted me more of that old transcript. Apparently, an overzealous prosecutor tried to charge our station manager, Amelia Maller, with the murder of several individuals, all of whom were supposedly disposed of by Big Ed. All charges against her were dropped when the sheriff's department couldn't find any evidence of murder. The transcript then goes into explicit, gruelingly specific detail on how Sheriff Isaac Maller was in no way in charge of the investigation into his mother's affairs. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear that our station manager wasn't found guilty of any heinous crime. I'm glad that her innocence was not proved by a corrupt sheriff's department run by her son. I'm glad that I have an intern as good as Elsa. I'm... I'm glad we know what happened to Thomas. Well, we, we don't know exactly. None of the reportedly gruesome details have been released to the public. But I'm glad that we know he isn't missing. I'm glad that I won't be sitting in the station. 
not knowing what happened to him. I'm glad that I'm able to be here, that I can talk to all of you listeners. I'm glad that I got to go to Nighthawk's Diner, home of the best food in Pine Cliffs. Speaking of, I should probably get going, Pine Cliffs. There are already people driving around the parking lot, circling, looking for an open spot, and I'd hate to delay these people in trying the amazing food that Nighthawks has to offer. Up next on our airwaves, this exact show, but not really. Not knowing what you know now. This is Galen Good signing off. Until next time, Pine Cliffs. Until next time. This has been Pine Cliffs Radio, written and narrated by myself, Kuholan96. A quick shout out to Rainer Lewington, who got me to start this. If you want to complain about the show, he's the guy to talk to. If you like the show, please like, favorites, comment, and subscribe. And by the way, thanks for listening.